So, play the bit with uh, new resume. Uh, let, me sh let me show you um, the combo I made. So it's using pressed for the light attacks in the top. The same key uh, for the charge attack in the bottom, but when you yeah, keep in release, uh, you can see with the debug and then input on screen how it behaves. So there's three input action involved in this combo, but all using the same key. Uh, if you look at it, I could remove this one. Uh, light, left mouse, heavy, left mouse, heavy and release, left mouse. The light is a tap with a 200 milliseconds um, release threshold, so that's the top one, the top four, when you tap the, 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 the key. The heavy one is old with the uh, same 200 millis, uh, milliseconds, so when I go back there, if I hold for 200 milliseconds, it's going to trigger this input action. And this one is slightly different, it's all and release with uh, 500 milliseconds. And all of this uh, to be able to, to handle your use case. Uh, like I said, you need to have the trigger uh, for all this input action. So on the top, it's uh, using the light, light, light. Here it's using the support AV. The same key. There's one bug uh, currently uh, for the drawing the icon. If you're using the same key uh, on different input action, apparently it doesn't handle that really well. So I'm going to think about I've uh, fixing the bug, uh, adding uh, um, an option for you to um, override the icon. But yeah, it's using Super TV for the uh, this one and release uh, for this uh, this input action and this transition. Uh, they are all using uh, triggered. Uh, this one is in started event, but it doesn't really matter. But this one is important, the trigger event. So that's the trigger event. Uh, this one. This one, this one, this one. Trigger versus started. And uh, they are all using the AV action. Triggered, wait for combo window end. So when you transition from these nodes. And this one is using every release, so using this hold and release triggers for the input action. Uh, so let's go back to the combo. And uh, the difference is it's using the transition immediately for the behavior. So you could also uh, use not this mon montage, but uh, directly the, the seconds and just one montage, sorry. But what I, why I did this montage is simply to have uh, the transition, actually the behavior of charging the attack and then actually dealing the attack, so the release part, even when you hold uh, the input and go to the end of the montage and combo, I'm still holding the, uh, the key, uh, but just to ensure that you can get from this, uh, this part of the montage and then the attack release part of the montage even if uh, the, um, the player doesn't release the, the key within this time frame. Uh, I hope uh, it's clear enough, so just to demonstrate. Uh, if I try to hold and release within the 500 milliseconds, uh, it's going to trigger immediately. Let me check. I got it working, but yeah, I tried yeah, this one. I'll try to do that pretty quickly and not spend too much time on it, but you have a lot of flexibility and power in your hand uh, with all these triggers and uh, you can mess around and uh, tweak the settings to uh, achieve the behavior you want and I'm sure that yeah, you're getting a consistent behavior. For instance, I think in this case I'm not raising, I'm raising too soon based on the settings on my uh, input action, but yeah. Let me check why I'm in this case, because the release trigger with the old end release doesn't, okay, but yeah, you got the idea, so that's it. Uh, I'm going to push this 
demo part uh, in, a, in a branch in the repo so that you can check it out. Uh, they're all um, all the files involved in this uh, little demo use case are in uh, within this path. And um, sorry, the character um, I used for this is the, the character in the demo, but I added this one, this stuff, and this stuff. Uh, so that's basically it. And uh, yeah, if you have any question, let me know.